I'll do a quick overview of what was discussed and then um, try and present a summary, because it's interesting to look at the change over time. Um, in Athens, talked primarily about international interconnect and interconnection costs, a topic that eventually slipped off the agenda, and IXPs, internet exchange points, a topic that developed very richly within the IGF with, with a lot of um, capacity building as well. Um, in Rio, we talked about more fundamental issues around policy and regulation and roles of different stakeholders. How do governments, public sector actors, communities and the private sector collaborate to address access and what type of policy framework can enable that effectively? In Hyderabad, we talked about the failure of this to work. We talked about market failure. We talked about efforts to, to um, address competition that's failing in many countries. And some speakers suggested that that was the root in that problems lies in governance and that many policy and regulation reform processes were grafted onto old governance systems that weren't actually working. And the point was made that to create an enabling policy and regulation environment for access, you need to develop it locally and organically, not just pay consultants. Um, Sharma Sheikh was interesting because there we looked um, more um, at mobile. So there was less uh, discussion of some of the fundamentals of access and more of a focus on what is seen as the solution of the future. An overview, just to, to, to read some of the reflections that we developed in the chapter. We do feel that the access issue has been explored broadly from the last mile through to national backbone. Um, we also feel that, that there's been some consensus. There's agreement, or there was large agreement, largely agreement, that access is not just about, just about the supply of cable or physical infrastructure. It's about building capacity to use networks, to develop local content and local languages, and to build demand for access. It's also about the freedoms needed to use the access for personal expression and to support democratization and more inclusive societies. Um, Dialogues on access at the IGF started um, at the height of a boom in 2006 and then continued um, right into the, the global financial crisis. And that's also quite interesting because I think it did influence what people found were the primary solutions to, to the access gap. It's interesting to see that repeatedly many of the points home in on the proper role of public and private sectors. So this is clearly an issue which I think we've not exhausted, but we've reached much more consensus on it. Um, competition and the value of competition has been acknowledged, but it's also been recognized that competition doesn't just happen naturally, and there's still a lot of distortion, and you need strong policy and regulation to make sure it works. I think as one speaker said at one point, the problem in Africa is not that markets don't work, but there are no working markets. 